Hello everyone, welcome back to Sedu Sets V Tutorials. We are here with a new video which will be beneficial for pharmacy, nursing and medical professionals. In this video, I will discuss about the classification of oral anti-diabetic drugs, which is also called as uh, anti-hyperglycemic drugs or you can simply tell hypoglycemic drugs. Oral anti-diabetic drugs, as you all know, uh, it's mainly indicated in diabetes mellitus where the blood glucose level exceeds the normal physiological range. Now, oral anti-diabetic drugs can be broadly classified into three categories based on their mechanism of action. Number one, insulin secretagogues. Number two, drugs decreasing insulin resistance. And number three are uh, drugs which act by mechanisms different from that of the first and second. So let's uh, include it in miscellaneous category. Now, an overview about all these three categories. Coming to the first category, insulin secretagogues. As the name tells, the drugs belonging to this category increases the secretion of insulin hormone. And the class of drugs which comes under this category includes sulfonylureas, meglitinides, GLP-1 receptor agonist, DPP-4 inhibitors. The detailed examples of the drugs coming under each category will be explained in a while. Coming to the second category, which includes drugs that decrease the resistance to insulin and the class of drugs coming under this category includes biguanates and uh, thiazoldine dions. Now, as I told, the category of drugs which act as anti-diabetics by mechanism different from that shown above are included in miscellaneous category and the examples include alpha glucosidase inhibitor, amylin analogs, D2 receptor agonist, SGL2 inhibitors. Now, uh, let's start with the first category that is uh, drugs which increase the insulin secretion or release. So before I tell the first class of drugs belonging to this category, I want you to identify this moiety. We have already discussed it in our previous video entitled uh, classification of anti-malarials. And if you haven't watched that video, the link to that video is uh, given in the description box. Do check it. So this is nothing but a sulfone group where a sulfur atom is attached to two oxygen atom and R groups. Now, this is NH2 C double bond O NH2. Can you name the compound? Yes, this is urea. Now, if you combine this two, it would become sulfonyl urea. The substituted sulfonyl urea derivatives have very good anti-diabetic action and the general structure of sulfonyl urea used as anti-diabetics would look like this. In the structure, you can clearly see the sulfonyl group attached to urea group and all the drugs in sulfonyl urea differ from, uh, e differ from each other by different substitutes at the R1 group on the benzene ring and the R2 group on the urea moiety. Now, we can broadly classify sulfonyl urea into two generations, the first generation sulfonyl urea and the second generation sulfonyl urea. As the name tells, first generation sulfonylurea were indicated, uh, were used as the initial drugs and the second generation sulfonylurea came after this. And the drugs coming under first generation sulfonylurea are tolbutamide, chlorpropamide, tolesamide, carbutamide and acetohexamide. And the drugs coming under second generation sulfonylureas are glibenglamine, also called as gliburide and other examples are glipicide, glyclaside glyboneuride and glimepiride. N now we will move to the second class of drugs uh, coming under insulin secretagogues. Before that, can you identify this compound? Yes, this is benzoic acid where a carboxyl group is attached to a benzene ring. Now, some of the substituted benzoic acid derivatives were shown to have antihyperglycemic activity by increasing the insulin secretion and they are called as glenide group of drugs. Examples are ripaglinide, natiglinide and meglitinide. Now the third class of drugs in insulin secretagogues are GLP-1 receptor agonist which is nothing but glucagon like peptide receptor agonist and the drugs include exinatide and liraglutide. 
although I included these drugs in the or this oral classification, do keep it in mind that these drugs belong to the peptide category and therefore it has to give it has to be given as injectable drugs, specifically telling it is given subcutaneously. Now the fourth uh, uh, class of drugs in this insulin secretor groups, uh, which is nothing but uh, dipeptidyl peptidase for inhibitors. And the name of these drugs in this class ends with uh, gliptin. And the uh, examples are cetagliptin, vildagliptin, saxagliptin, alogliptin, and linagliptin. Now we will move to the second category of oral antidiabetic drugs, which acts by decreasing the resistance to insulin. So before starting the class of drugs coming under this category, can you identify this structure? Again, uh, we have explained it uh, in the previous anti-malarial video and its uh, link is given below in the description box. NH2, C double bond NH, NH2. Yes, this is guanidine. Again, another molecule of guanidine. And if you condense these two guanidine molecules together with the release of an ammonia molecule, it would become biguanide. The drugs such as buformin, metformin and Fenformin are derivatives of uh, biguanides having anti-diabetic action. Now, moving to the second class in this category, can you identify this heterocyclic ring with uh, two heteroatoms, such as sulfur and uh, nitrogen at the alternative position? Yes, this is thiazole, and the numbering of thiazole starts from the sulfur atom, and it goes on like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, if you attach a double bond oxygen at the second and the fourth position of thiazole, it would become 2,4-thiazoldenedione. The derivatives of thiazoldenediones, commonly called as glitazone group of drugs, have anti-diabetic action. And the name of drugs end with glitazone. Examples are pioglitazone, rosiglitazone, troglitazone, rivoglitazone, nitoglitazone, and c-glitazone. With that, uh, we will move to the miscellaneous category of drugs which act by mechanisms different from that of what we have told uh, till now. The first class in this is alpha glucosidase inhibitor and the drugs include acarbose, meglitol and voglibose. The second class are amylin analogs and the drug is pramlintide and again keep it in mind this uh, pramlintide uh, is a peptide class of drug therefore it is given as a subcutaneous injection for achieving its action the third class in miscellaneous category is dopamine receptor agonist which is d2 receptor agonist and the example is bromocryptin the fourth one is sodium glucose co-transport to inhibitor and the drug is dapagliflozin so with that, we have come to the end of the classification of oral anti-diabetic drugs based on its chemistry and pharmacology. So I hope you really understood and enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, do subscribe to this channel, Sedu Satsavi Tutorials, to learn more and more in the way it has to be learned. Also, if you have any suggestions to make any videos on the topics you would prefer, do put it in the comment sections below so that we can incorporate it in the future video. With that, I am signing off. See you again with a new video. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.